veterans. Fertilization process. And it's not just explosive. It may help predict a patient's success when undergoing in vitro fertilization. When fertilization happens, what you see is this enormous spark. You can actually see it, the blast of light that marks the moment a sperm enters an egg. It's a really strong indication that this egg is competent to go through the remaining stages of embryogenesis to make a live, healthy offspring. The experiment starts in a petri dish. Egg and sperm meet, then the spark. The bigger, the brighter, the better, according to Northwestern Medicine researcher, Dr. Teresa Woodruff. We didn't have a really good way of knowing whether or not that egg was of good quality at the time of fertilization. In vitro, you don't watch for this. You actually just put the sperm and eggs together, and then you just wait. And so the next day, you come back and see if there's been two cells or four cells or eight cells. And all you can do is really hope that that division tells you that the egg is of high quality. But the sparks tell a story, offering valuable information that may help fertility doctors take the guesswork out of selecting viable eggs during the in vitro process. What IVF labs really need is better, earlier signals to know if that egg and that sperm is going to make a productive, healthy, live offspring. The importance of this is now we can transfer a single egg to a recipient mother rather than uh, transferring two or three uh, because we want to reduce the number of twins and triplets, particularly in IVF. And that would reduce the number of high-risk pregnancies. Dr. Woodruff and her team had to invent four different methods to even see the molecular light show. The key for this signal is that it's outside the egg. There are other things that we could do if we could take the egg and take a section or if we could look inside it, but that would disrupt the normal human egg developmental process. The discovery came after Dr. Woodruff's husband, a chemist, posed the question, what do you think zinc does in sperm? And I told him I couldn't care less. Tell me what it's doing in the egg. And that led to this entire new area of, of reproductive biology. There was nothing before this work to suggest that zinc would have this important a role in the development of a mature egg and then in the transition of that egg into an embryo. So this is a really phenomenal new discovery. The reaction is clear in mouse models. The next step for Dr. Woodruff and her team will be to see the process in human eggs, then inside the fallopian tube. Back to you. Thank you, Dina. Damp, chilly night in Chicago. Fuck you, Colbert. Oh, boy. Tom Skilling says prepare for a big drop in temps. His forecast is next. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no.